Welcome to this little video. My name is Philip Burkett. I'm a postdoc in the Department of Statistics and Data Science. Uh, and now I'm going to give you a quick overview of how you can use IELTS for remote instruction. As you can see here behind me, uh, I'm recording this in front of an empty classroom. This is probably a site that will be all too familiar on campus for the coming weeks until the end of the semester. So let's start. So IELTS is the Integrated Statistics Learning Environment, which is a browser-based e-learning platform designed for interactive, real-time, collaborative instruction. It was the core of my PhD thesis project, advised by Professor Nugin and Professor Genovese. We have been working on IELTS now for more than three years, and it is used currently in multiple classes at CMU and beyond. This itself here is an IELTS lesson, and I'm going to use this to demonstrate some of the capabilities of the platform uh, in a live demo. So one thing you can see here is we have this little recording tool here on the uh, lower left uh, and I can just record the screen and then make a video recording that we can upload uh, um, and make available to the students. So let me quickly do that behind the scenes so we have a record. Now um, this in the middle here is the IELTS sketchpad and the IELTS sketchpad allows you to make um, annotations on existing lecture slides. So an instructor can upload their slides in PDF format to IEL, so it can either be like LaTeX Beamer as this example, or like PowerPoint, um, and then um, both the instructor and the students can make annotations on those slides. But the instructor annotations are transmitted in real time to all locked in users. So um, an instructor can, for example, here I made already an annotation here, so maybe I want to get rid of this, um, and now this change will propagate uh, to everyone who's currently online. And I can maybe, I want to highlight something else. And then I, I want to highlight annotations here. So I'm just drawing, drawing a line here. Can also drag these things around if we want. So I can just select this. And maybe I want to put this here. Um, so once uh, a lecture is finished, um, the instructor can generate a PDF uh, with the annotations and make it available to the students through the platform itself. So with the click of a button, it gets uploaded. And then students can download um, the instructor annotations, but of course they can also download their own. However, the real advantage is that you can basically embed any other eye component on top of these slides, which can make really for interactive, engaging lectures. And you can think about like widgets, like simulation uh, um, studies, like an R or JavaScript code shell, like a point and click uh, data exploration tool, many other things that you can embed on your slides. Here we have an example of like a free text question. So you have a lot of kind of clicker type questions and real time answer visualization that come with them. In this case, we have already answered. Um, and if you have answered, you always see, or, or if supplied as a student, you will see this button here, show solution. So we can compare our answer with a model solution. In this case, it's just telling us see su the submitted responses, which only the instructor can do. So as the instructor, you have more features. For example, you have this button here, which gives you a count of the number of responses that were submitted. And then underneath, this little blue bar gives you an indication of the percentage of people currently logged in who have answered this question. So you can really gauge where people are at uh, in your lecture. Now, if we bring this up, you will see what's called the response visualizer. Here you see on the left-hand side for text qu questions, uh, all the individual responses, and on the right-hand side, you see a word cloud of all uh, the most frequent words. And we can here click on uh, words in the word cloud, and then it will filter out the responses uh, to show only those which contain the given word. Now, this is useful if you want to really discuss like a certain type of answer or like different or highlight different answers. For example, Professor Nugent has used this in remote instruction and executive education events where um, the participants would do case studies at home. They would uh, answer like detailed questions and then during uh, like the live session on Zoom, she would bring this up and just highlight the individual questions and then talk about them in detail. So the thing is here, right, you get to see all the students' responses. So every voice is heard, and it's not only the people who might be very vocal anyway. Um, now let's close this and, um, and look at some of the other ways of how IELTS can 
uh, can foster interactions between students and the instructor. Now, we have, for example, a queuing system, which allows students to post questions to the instructor. For example, here I have my phone now, and I'm going to um, ask a question there. So I will go to the site, and then I can just type in a question for the instructor to see. Um, as you can imagine here already now, I works on mobile devices, it works on tablets, basically it runs in a web browser and works on all major browsers. So this would be like Edge, Safari, Firefox, Chrome. Um, now I have done this, as you can see now here, we get a little uh, button here which says open queue. And now we can see here uh, the question queue. And the question queue here shows the individual question uh, and the ranking of the different people. And now I can, if I hover over here, I can see who this person is, but um, we blank it out by default. So if you bring this up, you don't, you know, accidentally disclose the student's uh, personal information. But the answer to this question is yes, you can save your answers. Um, and let me click this and check it off. And so then the, quest, the student gets a notification that his problem has been resolved. Um, to that point, students can uh, save a PDF uh, of all their responses uh, for a given, uh, given online lesson. For example, to just print out and then have a physical record to, let's say, study for an exam. We also have a way for students to supply feedback using these feedback buttons here, which are attached to these slides. So we have piloted this in, in physical classes, where it was only mildly successful, but it probably is more uh, interesting in a remote setting, because in a remote setting, we do not see our students, right? So we do not get a sense of like, are they actually following, are they understanding the material or are they rather confused? Um, so here, it's very like low commitment. Students can just indicate something isn't clear to them or this makes sense. And then as an instructor, you can just pull this up like a little visualization telling you, okay, so maybe slide three, let's click on, on slide five. So I click on slide three, so it's this slide. Um, this slide might have some, caused some misunderstandings uh, among the students. So maybe next lecture, I should uh, go back to this topic and talk more about it. Or I can even course correct in the middle of a lecture itself. Now let's go back here. So we also have like a chat functionality for student communication. So let me go here and I can uh, enter this chat and now I can talk here with everyone else. And notice that this chat here right now is tied to this specific question. So you can imagine like a big class where you have multiple people and they're all progressing at different times. And so you can have people who talk about um, a certain question with their peers, um, but they won't kind of clutter like, uh, you know, a big, uh, big global chat that affects everyone in the room. Okay, so let me close this. Besides chat functionality, we can also um, actually broadcast video. So let me try this out. So I can select the devices and then I can start here a little video broadcast. And that go works without any external tooling. So, and now everybody who is logged in, the students, they will see me and hear me as I talk about the material here. Um, let me close this now. We also have a functionality to generate uh, real-time captions. Um, this might not always work perfectly, uh, but it helps for accessibility and can all also um, be downloaded later um, to have a record or a transcript um, of the lesson. So let me stop this and demonstrate uh, how this works. I can click here. I can open the latest transcript. Um, and then I can correct that, right? So I can uh, create uh, trans live transcripts, for example. And once I've done this, then we can save this as a PDF. Okay, so um, that's what I wanted to show you here about um, the features of Isle. One thing you might also think about is whether it makes sense to try a flipped classroom. So you could actually uh, generate video lectures 
um, kind of high quality video lectures that you make available to your students. And you can do that with IELTS as well. So there is a component to generate video lectures. And again, these video lectures can include any other IELTS component. They can include questions. They can include like these feedback buttons or like chat functionality, any simulations or other kind of activities. We even have support for branching video lectures. So you can have some, let's say, a multiple choice question where you ask people, which of these topics do you want to learn more about? People click on the respective answer and then they get, get um, the video uh, corresponding to that answer. And this has been, uh, has been in active use by a professor at the College of Worcester, Marion Fraser, uh, since uh, fall 2019. So it's very well tested out. So if you're interested in that, please reach out. Now, I already mentioned the first bullet point here. Um, concerning the second one, um, instructors can author lessons using the IL editor. So which is an authoring tool that allows one to generate like fairly complex lessons, but you can also just combine existing components and have something up and running in no time. Now, over the coming weeks, as we uh, are in this kind of remote teaching uh, phase, we will hold regular office hours and we are available for instructor support. So if any of you is interested in giving IL a shot and are learning more about it, please reach out. We do have a website at uh, http um, colon slash slash stats.cmu.edu slash aisle. So there you can find some more information about the project. So that's it. Thank you. And yeah, hope to hear from you. Oh, before I forget, we did make a little video. So I can stop this here. And now we can see here, it took me 12 minutes. So that's a bit longer than I had hoped. Um, but now we could uh, take this video. We can download it or upload it, or I can just get rid of it and say goodbye.